Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehta bringing you another tutorial today on cinematic moody tones. Now the reason I wanted to do this tutorial is because on Instagram you always see these people who have a very consistent feed. They have like a cinematic moody vibe going on usually and I thought I would teach you how exactly to go about it. So let's just jump right into it. Now the reason I took this particular photo is because it's a typical photo taken in natural light. The sun is harsh, it's a bit warm, so you very likely have a photo that looks like this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into color grading it from the get-go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the color tab, I'm going to click mix, um, I'm going to pick certain colors that I want to completely remove. Usually moody colors don't have yellows and greens in it. So I'm going to bring the saturation down. I'm going to bring the luminance down. I'm going to do the same with green. I'm going to do that with the aqua as well, just to be on the safer side. Um, now what I'm going to do with the orange is I'm going to change it a bit. I just want the skin tones to look a bit more natural after we add the slight tea look to it. So I'm just going to Take this to maybe like minus 12, that looks okay. And I'm gonna just bump up the saturation a bit. I'm just doing this just so that later on the skin tones don't look kind of dead. Now we'll go to exposure. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna reduce the exposure slightly. That looks good. I'm gonna bring the highlight significantly down minus 42 that looks good and I'm gonna bring the whites a bit down as well okay this is how it looked before this is how it looks now and now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the white balance and I'm gonna just add like a bit of pink just to bring a bit of his skin tones back uh, I'm gonna look at I think that looks good, plus 10. Now I know it looks a bit too orangey, but again, I'm doing this to bring that color grade back. So I'm gonna go back to exposure, I'm gonna click curves. Now you have your RGB, you have your red, you have your green and blue. I'm gonna go to the red. Red opposite is sign and teal, so I'm gonna just go in the center and just bring it a tad bit down. And that looks good good now what I'm gonna do is and this goes for general photography that if you want your subject to pop out a lot you want to reduce the exposure on the environment and that's exactly what I'm gonna do to create more separation so I'm gonna pick a brush and I'm gonna start masking it all around You don't have to be like super precise with it. You can't be super precise with it because you're doing it on your phone. So just make sure as long as you're not getting it on his skin tones, you should be good. I think that looks okay. I'm gonna click the blue dot. I'm gonna go into the exposure settings. I'm gonna bring the exposure down. To, let's say minus 78 I'm going to bring the whites down a bit as well and voila this is how it looked before and this is how it looks now before and after just a final tip always remember to reduce the greens and the yellows I think they're very contrasting colors and very vibrant especially when you're going for a moody look other than that it kind of depends on your exposure and your other settings but the main concept is very likely going to be same if you liked what you see please give me a like subscribe to my channel let me know if there's something in particular you guys want to learn uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time take care